So I have here the Freebill Recruit. It's the new one man flip over hut. It's fully insulated. It's about 62 pounds including the seat. The poles are extending. There is one front door, four windows, has two side pockets on the inside, it has reinforced sides where the poles will be rubbing against the tent. It comes with spreader bars. They're pretty heavy. They include two rod holders that flip out. They're about $10 retail, something nice uh, that they threw in. The seat is also now improved that it has a, a backpack holder. It has a tackle box holder thing on the back rest. Um, my f this is my friend's hut. Um, they didn't give him all the parts so he can't even use the seat. He can't build a seat. The bracket now is a uh, it's plastic versus before they had as metal. So you save some weight there. And I guess also they save some cost. What else? Alright, avoid that pole. Um, so, I'm right now inside the hut. This fishing area is about 16 square feet. There's a lot of room in here. Um, I'm right now about half, taking about half the side. Up to here is all half. And there's still all this other space. So say if I'm in the hut right now, fishing can you see that there's still this all this other side it's actually a lot a lot of room I don't know what can I do I'm gonna throw a GoPro in here boom there we go so that's one foot two foot three foot four foot it's about four by four this area here is about four by four feet and there's your sonar see so you have a heater here you have a hole here, a hole here. Here is the flip out raw holder. So you could have that with a float bobber or whatever. And then here's another one. So say you got fish on this one. Wait. So let's say you just want to put your rod down. You stick it here versus throwing it inside the bin. So that's something nice little. Plus here is the alloy poles so instead of one long bent conduit they give you separate pieces that you have to connect by these plastic elbows These extending poles now have covers over the pins so that won't hurt your fingers and will help if you have gloves on when you need to extend or retract your hut. Here is one of the pockets on your left side, another pocket on the right side. Here is a window. Another window back there, window up here at the front, and of course the fourth one right there. It's an odd shape. There are some complaints of this material being uh, very thin or allowing light to come through. I don't really have that issue with this hut. I don't really see the issue with this hut. Even if I turn off this light, You don't really see any light penetrating through. And I'm very confident that this won't allow rain or snow to uh, seep through. I'm very sure that you'll stay dry. Windproof too. Oh yeah, windproof too. Okay, so here is the splendid tripod seat because the one that came with the hut they didn't come with enough of the necessary hardware to build it so my friend had to go run out and purchase one 
he decided to go with the tripod chair because it is lighter and you can fold it up like that and now you have more room in the sled for your other tools of the trade This flap is fairly far back, so you'd be able to throw on some snow there, prevent wind and more snow blowing inside your hut. This pole here is very close to the ground. That way it'll help with the wind as well. The max vent system to allow air to come in, reflective material a big giant recruit sign so everyone knows that you're a noob here it is from the back so it's a big wide skirt which is a good plus Okay, so some positives about this new flip over is it's a fully insulated tent material. 16 square feet of fishable space. It has two rod holders with it. There's covers over the pin, so that helps with you retracting and extending the poles. Um, some negative aspects about this hut is, I don't like this logo stamped right here. Um, it has the issue of tipping over if you don't have the spare poles in which are somewhat heavy leaning over to get a fish out of the hole or whatever it's pretty easy for it to lean over so there is a flaw in design that we have encountered um, this bottom loop here that touches the ground you are not able to fully retract it and then flip the hut into a closed position because it would hit the brackets on the side. You would have to have it partially extended before you can fully close it. That is a, it's not a huge deal breaker, but it is somewhat annoying and a flaw. Another negative about this hut is I just realized this doesn't have a half up windbreaker position. The uh, other Fables used to have a little flippy thing coming out from the side. This one, if you want half up position, you will have to use the spreader pole. And then they'll be only propped up to say yay tall. All right. So this wraps up the video for my thoughts and opinion and walk around of the new Fable Recruit. Thanks for watching.